Hey everyone, so I'm back with another uh, Bible study walkthrough with the Companion Bible here. This is the King James Version, um, which is by far my favorite, and I think that that's the proper Bible, but I'm not saying that anybody can't be brought to the Lord with the other ones, but <clears throat> I think this is the best translation. Um, so yeah, let's get, let's get into Matthew chapter 2. Um, now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. So um, Bethlehem means house of bread. Just so you guys know, um, I didn't know that, so it was something that uh, noted to me. Um, <clears throat> saying, where is he that is born the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. I, th I think that that's awesome. Like, maybe the Bible does, and God doesn't want us studying astrology, um, but I, I tend to believe that that's more for horoscopes um, and not trying to predict the future so much um, versus... Um, it does tell us that we're to look up and look at the stars and use them for signs. So I think that there's a big difference there. But um, anyways, when Herod the king had heard all these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. Um, scribes of the people, um, this is denoting the learned men of the people learned in the scriptures. So these were men that had really um, been educated and studied the scriptures. So um, he brought them to make sure that this was valid and these weren't crazy guys, you know. <laughs> um, and they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule that my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily uh, called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. Um, doesn't really matter too much, but um, departed. I had that um, underlined, where is that? Departed just means returned, which seems weird to me because in our language, modern day English, departed means to leave. But like here it means um, to return. So when they had heard the king, they returned. Um, and um, this is the companion translation. I'm just reading that. And uh, lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Um, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And then they had opened their treasures and presented him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. And um, be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. That's, I thought that was really interesting that um, God sent like angels to in a dream or the Holy Spirit or whatever it was. Um, but anyways, um, <clears throat> when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken unto, of the Lord by the prophet saying, out of Egypt have I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, um, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coast thereof from two years old and under, according to the time that he, uh, he had diligently inquired of the wise men. That's horrible. But um, then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked, um, that translates to deceived. So when Herod was deceived of the wise men, he sent and killed all the children. Um, then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet saying in Rama, and Rama is five miles north of Jerusalem, just for context. In Rama, there was a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and a great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children um, and would not be comforted because they are not. Uh, one thing I've learned from my, my walk in my faith is, and reading the Bible over and over is, um, Sometimes God lets horrible, lets, lets Satan do horrible things down here on earth um, because in the end, it's it's going to lead to him being glorified and that's all it is. Um, that's one thing I've really learned in my life is God God lets bad things happen and lets, lets his children go through really tough times and heartbreak because he's going to be glorified in the end through it somehow. And you guys just, that's, that's, that's one of the 
biggest tenets of my faith. Um, <clears throat> but when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of Israel. For they are dead which sought the, child, the young child's life. And he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus um, did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go thither. Um, notwithstanding, being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee, and he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. Um, so yeah, guys, that's about it. The big ones that... Um, Stood out. All of the all of the translations that I that I uh, brought to your attention was Bethlehem was house of bread. Uh, scribes of the people were people that were learned men of the people learned in the scriptures. Um, departed was returned, um, and uh, mocked was deceived, and Rama was five miles north of Jerusalem. Those were the big ones that I uh, gave the translation for. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. That was Matthew chapter two. And we'll see you guys soon with Matthew chapter 3.